Hello and welcome back to Von Miller's and Plays Tomb Raider. In the last episode we made our way to the city of Kamun. We have now arrived, according to the save game title, at the obelisk of Kamun. So let's see what Lara's got herself in for here. Okay, we have a slope and some ledges. Let's see if we can climb up onto these and find anything. Hmm. Okay, looks like that's the way to go. Some kind of recess over there. What have we got? Okay, some kind of grill and a platform. And that's about it. Maybe a pillar or something. Can't really make it out very clearly. Just waiting for the monsters. Okay, we have a door and a keyhole there. It's some kind of room. We don't have any keys yet. Hmm. Three windows. What can we see? Okay, there's a pool of water. And a column. There's a doorway up there. Alright. Hmm, okay. Well, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. There's a doorway up there, and we have a whole bunch of push-pull blocks. Let's try the first block. Mm, let's move it one more time. So give us some breathing room. Some kind of passageway behind it. Oh god. Okay. And he came out of there. It's empty. Hmm. A medkit. And can we see anything here? No. Another passageway. And that passageway looks like it might line up with whatever's behind this pull block, maybe. There is a passage. Uh, I don't want to pull this one out again because it's going to interfere with that push pull block. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, I can see the mouth of another monster. Oh, Laura's not doing so well. Let's use a full medkit. Okay. Two monsters out. Let's save. So what have we got here? I suspect nothing if this is linking up. Yeah, this is the other side of that grate. And was there anything in the monster's hiding spot? No. All right. So, uh, well, that seems to be kind of useless. So let me close this back up to make more room out here. And let's move this out of the way. And I'll pull you one more time. Okay, what have we got? A drop. I'm 
Okay. And a slopey pillar that we might not be able to get back up from. So before I do that... Let's have a look behind this one. save again so I don't have to repeat any of that if I die so what have we got this way some water hmm well the water I can more easily get out of if I need to okay we've got a channel of some Riley let me get up onto solid ground Anything immediately waiting to kill me? No. Okay. We have an interesting chamber. Hmm. Oh, there's a crocodile down there. gone around the far side. Oh, here he comes. And he very smoothly maneuvered right through that solid wall. Uh, okay, I will slowly sit here and take care of this crocodile. Okay, croc is down. So... What else do we have here? It looks like there's some kind of passageway in that far corner. But it looks like whatever's going on here is all going on underwater. So let's have a look. Oh, there's a medkit down here. Lara. That's the passageway I came in from. This is where I thought there was a passageway in the far side, but there's not. Ooh, key. I suspect that'll be important, maybe even for the door at the beginning of the level. Do we have anything else in any of these ledges? Surface for some air. I said surface for some air. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. Some magma clips here. Come on, Lara, they're right there. She controls so robotically. I can't just do like a small swim forward. Okay, I think that's it for here. So let's get uh, back up that passage we came in. Monster is spawning. No. Okay. Out of curiosity, that key we got, is it for this door? A 
apparently it is. Oh. Oh, and it did open this door, and it opened the other thing. Hmm. Now I suspect we can pull this to get up into there. Okay, let's just do a quick save. Okay, some kind of corridor and stairs. Oh God. Keep shooting, Laura. Jesus. Right. Small medkit time. So we've got a living room, apparently. He knocked over a chair. We have some kind of coffee table slash sarcophagus. Some fine china. Another one of these statues and a window. Hmm. Well, this is a big place. Oh, I think that's where I was, where I was looking through to before. Could probably jump down into the water safely. Might be able to hang off that ledge safely. Well, the same could be said for the one I'm standing on at the moment. Now, it looks like this thing that's in front of us will fold down at some stage. So I'm not entirely sure if I want to do this yet or try the doorway, which I think will lead into the lower part of this. Let's go back and check out the doorway. Let's have a quick look at this ledge first in case it's... Oh, ha! Huh. I was about to say, in case I'm missing something. Bingo. So, what have we got? Ah. If... Hmm, that was odd. So that's for one underwater door somewhere. Uh, but I was just about to say, the thing I just picked up, the Eye of Horus, that matches the shape of the thing that we saw in the city of Kamun on that. There was like a, a pillar there with like four symbols on it, kind of near the start of the level, but we never actually did anything with it. And it had this symbol on it. It had the scarab beetle that's around to the left-hand side of the pillar there. And did it have an ank? There was a circle. I can't remember what the fourth symbol was, but an ank seems likely. Hmm. I see there's another lever over there in the far corner. There's probably a lever back that way somewhere. So my guess is I have to get these four symbols. So that's one of them down. Uh, let me go back to the door. Okay, we're just back at the door now. So if I'm right, this is, yes, this is the lower part of that room. And this might just be the way for us to get back out of here if we screw up something. So is there anything down in the water that's going to murder us? Nothing from here anyway. Oh well, failed that jump, so let's just have a quick scout underwater. Some magnum clips. Oh, and something here. 
Ah. One underwater door. So I suspect possibly when we get all four symbols, that door will open. If I interpret what it was trying to show us before correctly. So, anything over here? No, and nothing in that ledge. Nothing in that ledge. Nothing in there. And the passageway. On what is clearly a slippy, slidey slope. So that's one way, and the other place back up in the room with the, the four push pull blocks that looks one way as well. Um. Let's go this way first. Yep. I heard that. Okay. Let's save again. So, some ledges and stuff. This looks very jumping puzzly. Let me see what I can do. Can't reach that. There's a plinth over here. I can get up here. What does that entitle me to? I might be able to make it over to that pillar. Let's try it. Okay, I'm here now. It's a bit glitchy, but I'm here. Maybe I can walk around. Oh God. Okay, so I can get over to here. What does that get me? A slippy, slidey slope. And possible death. So let me... Let me save in a different slot. Uh, there's two mummies. And the far side, no mummies. Hmm. Hmm. Don't seem to be able to do anything here. Cooey. They both definitely have shadows. Hmm. We may be coming back to this chamber. There doesn't appear to be anything for us to do yet. Okay. So, back out into the main room. One step back, please, Lara. Okay, now we're here. What does here get us? We can go over this way. Alright. And now I guess I can get to that ledge. It's a large med kit over there. Let's try this. Okay. 
Okay. That's too high to reach, I guess. So I think we're going over this way. All right. Medkit guess. That just leads down to the slippy slidey slope. And there's nothing in the dark hole there. Okay. Alright, well I'll do the rest of this jumping puzzle and I'll bring you back.